What was the event? What, what, what was going on there? Basically, what was going on there is our family was invited to a wedding reception, um, children included in the invitation. The event wasn't fancy. It wasn't at a, a gallery or a museum. It was at a community center with a gymnasium, workout equipment, basketball, ping pong. Um, it's a typical place with event rooms where they hold children's birthday parties. There was actually three parties simultaneously going on during the wedding reception. And um, in the midst of all that, uh, there was a temporary art display going on in the open lobby area. Um, we're familiar with the facility. We've been there many times. My children are comfortable with the layout. And um, in general, the rules being there, there's, like I said, basketball and ping pong just 10 feet away from where the sculpture was actually placed. And so, so it would have never the, occurred. With those sculptures, um, we, we saw that one, um, which, uh, which is actually uh, by a local artist, Bill Lyons, called Aphrodite de Kansas City. And that's what uh, that's what it looks like. Not quite sure what it looks like now, but um, it, there were others that were. Were there any that were roped off, or any that were in glass cases? Well, I did notice there was a smaller statue off to the corner that was roped off, but it towered maybe six, seven feet tall. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt. Just kind of in the main mm. traffic way. It's incredible. It's incredibly dangerous. It seemed to fall off very easily there. A lot of people who've seen the footage were asking, where, where were you at the time? Because it, you, you didn't have eyes on your child at that moment. Had, had you have done, maybe you'd have been able to say, Troy, maybe don't touch that. Um, well, it would have never occurred to us as a guest at the community center in the past for so many athletic-related activities that there would have been priceless unsecured art accessible to our children. As his mother and my husband as a father, I know we're ultimately responsible for damages that our children cause, but if my child intentionally defaced property, we would absolutely figure out a way to put ourselves out there as responsible and pay for the damages to make sure that the lesson was reinforced without any question. Yeah. But in this particular situation, our five-year-old was just being a little kid and there was no malice or intention to damage any property. We were familiar with the video and the primary purpose there is athletic activity. Mm. And I feel the community mm. center bears at least some liability well, for allowing um, a priceless piece of art. Sure, 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 sure. To um, just be there. But I, yeah, we're, we're sorry that this accident happened. Yeah. So do you, and, think, um, do you think you should pay? It's $132,000, about £100,000. Uh, uh, the, the, they've said that you should pay for it. The um, and has uh, And so, uh, so what are you going to do? Are you going to pay? Well, I'm really hopeful that we can depend on our homeowner's insurance to be able to investigate the matter as well as the city of Overland Park's insurance to investigate the matter. Um, bottom line, there was no negligence mm. and we think that this $132,000 I can see you're reading price from a... Price is just a high price to pay for... You're reading from a statement there. I can see that you're... Obviously, your lawyers have got involved and they've given you what, what you... What, what what is the best no, thing to I, say No, I've you. prepared my statements. My lawyers aren't involved with what I'm saying, but I do want to be prepared because of the experience I've had, unfortunately, with um, the media and the backlash. Cyberbullying is so scary. Yeah. And you, you just can't give nasty comments your time would be my advice to any youth mm. because and I know that suicide rates and things that is like a very that are out of control. serious point because yeah. uh, because you've had death threats i mean it's the, it it has been I it have. has been very my very family. nasty is Troy, how's Troy feeling because i mean he must be aware of of all of this what's been going thank on i mean thank you is he how's he doing thank you for asking 
he's doing okay, but when the press decides that they want to sway a story against you, the public retaliation is brutal and it has had some effect on my family. And the fact that people seem unaffected by the pain that they can cause people is so just heartbreaking. Yeah. Our media in Kansas City could have done this story differently. Maybe hidden dangers of taking your children to the local community center could have been a better headline. Okay, we're going to. We're going to have to talk about safety standards. We're going to have to leave it there, Sarah. Um, but uh, but I think you made your point. You've sort of clarified uh, your position and, and what you think. So th as I said at the beginning, thank you for getting up so early. Hope Troy's okay. And um, yes, and thank you. For joining you're us. welcome. You take care thank of yourself. You.